The descent of the bicep curl, if it is controlled, supplies an eccentric contraction to the biceps, which grows them a ton. If you curl as hard as you can on the way up, but then drop the weight, you can do more reps. But there's no magic rep counter in the sky that's saying, oh, you're amazing if you did 10 reps or whatever. It's all about making sure you milk everything out of each rep, which means control and tons of force on the concentric and control and eccentric as well. Jared, show us what the mistake looks like. Pretty decent curl and then bloop it drops down and pretty decent curl and bloop. It's really tempting to do this because you can do more reps and it's really tough to do an eccentric controlled contraction. Does the eccentric have to be like three or five seconds long? No, that's definitely an option if you wanna try it as a variation, but in general, just make sure you're actively contracting the muscles and slowing the bar down against gravity.